Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Beautiful morning out here. Almost low tide. Low tide was just a few minutes ago. 71 degrees, actually 74 degrees now. 74 degrees. Expecting a high of 91 today. Gonna really warm up today. Look at all that sand out there in front of me, wow. Holy smokes. Piles of sand sticking up out here now. New sand from the barge. This beach is really changing. Let's see our buddy Roy. If you look really close, you can see him right there walking up the beach. Yep. Take a walk down the steps here. Ooh, getting eaten up by no seams. Clouds still have some of the, picking up some of the colors of sunrise out there. You can see a little yellow and gold in them out there. Pelicans flying by. That water temperature is still 85 degrees. I thought it had been warming up by now. A little walk out here onto this new little sandbar. See if we spot anything interesting. There's an old, looks like probably an old crown conch. That's kind of cool. It's an old crown conch. Look at that. It's a nice one. Very, very old. That's a great looking little crown though. Very cool. Nice little find. I'll walk down the beach a little ways go south and see if we had any sea turtle action. Boy, Saturday I had a wonderful beach walk. So, we got two new sea turtle nests on Saturday. Who knows if we got any more. There's a little olive shell down here. Another little keeper. Wash the sand off of that. See that water is pretty clear. Just gonna walk the outside edge of this sandbar. Yep, 
If you didn't already, you need to watch Saturday's beach walk video. You'll see how the, name, the park rangers excavate the sea turtle nest just to check for the eggs. I got to hang around while they did that on Saturday and actually got to show everybody what one of the eggs looks like inside the nest. So that was fun. Very interesting and educational. Boy, nothing on this sandbar here. Goodness, I thought there'd have been a few shells out here. See our park rangers rolling up the beach in their orange cart. There's a little snowy egret. I don't know if you can see him right there. See it. In her. Well, that water feels warmer than 85 degrees. Maybe I'd see a sand dollar or two here. Gorgeous out here. Hey, Rod. Where have you been hiding? Some people have to work, Roy. I haven't seen you for, for a couple, two, three days. Two whole days. Saw you Saturday. Huh. You went out in the water, so we didn't see you Saturday. Well, you were I, out taking I a saw swim. your pictures of me swimming way yeah. out there with Kelly. You were taking your plunge. <laughs> yeah, sorry I missed you. Your plunge with Kelly. <laughs> I haven't seen you for two days after that. You haven't <laughs> been down, I guess, huh? That was Saturday. Uh, it's only been two days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Yeah, doesn't it, though? So what's new? Well, that was Saturday. There's Sunday, Monday, uh, for two days, and I... I missed you. So what's new? Oh, what everything's new. Everything's glorious. Any dolphins? Oh, the sunrise this morning was fantastic. Really? Oh, I didn't see anything. pink tint in the sky. It was glorious. Just glorious. Wow, I missed that. I was yeah. up at 5 o'clock. I didn't well, see that. Well, it was kind of low in the sky. but Oh, you had to be up pink. by the water. Yeah. Beautiful pink. Oh, boy. And then the so sun came up. That was just glorious, glorious. Yeah. I couldn't see it from where I was. I just saw gray sky yeah. all out yeah, there. Yeah, first time we've had pink sky for a long time. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. What else is going on up there? Well, that's just about it. It's really, really pretty. No dolphins this morning, but yesterday, all oh. kinds of dolphins. Oh, really? Oh, Finally. yeah, yeah. Finally. A mother and a baby, and then the dad, kind of bigger oh. one over there, and they're right, right close up to the shore at the end there. Oh, right. at the end? Yeah, at the oh, end. Okay. Have they yeah. been up the beach at all yet? Have you seen them up here on the beach at all? No, you mean beaching themselves. No, no but they were close, close. in. And the, and the baby right with the mother was really pretty. Nice. Right together. And then, then some lady was up there. Well, I guess it was Kelly went up 
after that when I told her about the dolphins and she saw a whole pot of them. Wow. She said a whole bunch milling around. All One right. kind of coming out of water and... But none this morning yet. No, no, huh. none this morning. These, so all this, was great. this dredging must have them confused. Well, you know, it looks like they made some islands out yeah, there. Yeah, isn't that something? There's all Boy. new, all new little islands sticking yeah, up out there. Yeah, about two or three islands. Of course, it's really low tide. Yeah, there's morning. like one sticking up over here, one over here. Crazy, they're pumping away. Again, yeah, well, it slowed right. down a little. Looks it's spitting like it, out earlier. Looks like it's, it isn't all that white water either. They must be getting down into the, into the yeah, soil. Yeah, down deeper. Yeah. But they're bringing it up from out here. It looks like they're starting over again. Yeah, must they, have, well, they moved the, on out The pass must have filled in after that storm again. I don't know. They just always moved That's the around. dredge. The dredge hey, is all the way up there. there the sun by, George. Ooh, isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, some good swims. So who all are you expecting out here today? Anybody? Yeah, I think Kelly said she's still going to be here. Oh, does she leave? Well, I mean, she's got her work to do, but I think she's... She's going to be here this morning before she goes to work, and oh, then uh, nice. Jenny's going to be down. So I'll have some swim buddies. That'll be there nice. There you go. You can swim out to the to the barge again. Out to the outer reefs. <laughs> the outer banks. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. Oh boy. So it's glorious. It I'll is beautiful, you. all except these darn bugs. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of no see them this oh, morning. Yeah. I just got eaten alive walking yeah, out here. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't put on my stuff because uh, yesterday they weren't bad at all, but I think the rain kind of brings them on. Oh, there was a rain yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh wow, did that come down? That was a good one. <laughs> and in the morning there was too. big lightning. Yeah, wasn't that something? Oh, boy, that was something. We had some good thunder and lightning yesterday. Yeah. It actually should be lightning and thunder. <laughs> Glorious days. Glorious is, can't describe it. I'm looking for some treasures there. I was kind of hoping that barge would pump something up, that dredge. Huh. I didn't think well, you'll all have that to stuff walk. would suck it well, up. I bet you could walk out pretty close to the to the to the barge there. Have you have you touched that thing yet? I have was you up put pretty your... pretty close to it when I was swimming. Yeah, I figured by now you would have put your hands on the it. The old rusty <laughs> thing. I did touch the hose. You touched the hose. Well, that was at the far end, oh, of yeah. it, right up against the beach. Right. I thought it was a steel pipe, but it isn't. It's some, some kind sort of flexible, of heavy, yeah. Heavy plastic yeah. or something. It's got to be able to abandon stuff with the currents. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm just going to walk down here a little ways, see if Wonderful. there's well, any more turtles or what. Again. I really missed you. I was <laughs> hoping you were fine and all. Oh, I'm fine. Looks like, are there some people out to that island? Looks that way. Are those people there? Or no, there? that's the that's the buoy. Oh, That's the swim buoy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why it's so close there. Oh, that one's further out. And there's one closer. I think that always is about was it out that far, but they dredged so much stuff up there. <laughs> That's what we're talking about, the it's barge. It wow. was pumping earlier, it just stopped pumping. Huh. Pumping sand. Crazy. It's a new fangled world we live in, Roy. Yeah. What's next, huh? Oh, the old helicopter was wheeling around. Really oh, boy, isn't that too. something, watching that guy fly around? I think he was just taking out rides because he wasn't spraying or anything. Well, you can't see that spray. It's, you don't see it. You think he was spraying? Oh, yeah. Because he didn't go around close over the trees. He just kind of wheeled around up in the sky. And he didn't come down low? Didn't seem that way. Really? But Maybe he was just checking things out. I think he was. When they're spraying, they're right down in, I know in the it. trees and lower sometimes. Too bad they can't spray for the flies. Boy, the flies yesterday were absolutely a murder. And that the tr I get, they're bad now. They were a little closer to the. We need that little breeze. You know, that breeze is nice, keeps everything away. Yeah. yeah. There's a fly right there buzzing around. All right, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hey, Rob, well, see it's what? sure good to see yeah, you again. we'll I figure was, out. I was hoping I'd see you again one of these days. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't gone anywhere. Believe you me. Said you, you said I, I watched your video where it showed 
when you found me way out in the water. <laughs> I there, was wondering where you were. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Was there something important? Well, yeah, we were going to chat. We said we were going to chat. Oh, no, well, it wasn't we important. Like to chat, it was but you said chat. you were going to bring down some surprises. Did they ever materialize? Well, did they ever come to the beach or not? I don't know. You never said what your surprises I were. I told you it was some people were coming. They might still come Good. next year. Next well, year. That would be great. I can't tell you what it was because then it won't be a surprise if right. they ever yeah, show don't up. Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know what happened. That was too bad. Well, Elsie was here, and oh boy, I had a great time with her. Elsie with was out. Oh man, beautiful flowers she she gave us and planted in big pots and oh planted more all flowers these pretty, for you. <laughs> pretty flowers and oh boy. So yeah. that was something. You're turning your lanai into a jungle out there. <laughs> Went out to her, her beautiful home and swam in her pool and boy, we had a great time. Well, that wasn't Elsie. I, well, uh, Miss Powers. What, <laughs> All right. I, what's her first name again? Um, uh, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm having a. I can't think of her yeah, first Emma, name. No, 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 no. I, there's so many people here. Um, Emily. 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 Elsie. Emily. Yeah. Well, I was. I close. thought you were talking about Emily. El I thought Elsie was on the beach this morning and gave you some flowers. <laughs> no, it was Emily. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was what, last week. Yeah. That was that was nice. Oh, definitely. Emily. Yeah. Oh, having a, <clears throat> a great time in life. I'll tell you. Well, you really just got to keep those flowers alive now. Really enjoying the journey. Yeah, I've been Isn't watering the them right along. It's so gorgeous out here. The tide's starting to come back in now. Oh, and these towering clouds and the sun. Isn't that touched, beautiful out there? The sun just touched the tops. And oh, yeah, that's so, that's so neat when the tops of the clouds light oh, up in the morning. Oh, this world. <laughs> beautiful. Well, they stopped the pump. Yeah, it must be. Maybe they're all done. I don't think so. I think they're going to be here for eternity now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Milk, get all that money they can. It'll be kind of like when they built that bridge. Didn't that take them two years? Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope this doesn't go on for two years. It sure messes up the water. <laughs> well, sure has to, changed the beach, though. You have That's... to walk halfway to China before you can take a swim. I know. It definitely has changed the beach. Oh, no. Look at this. This is just this is just one of the piles of new sand, right? All right, bro. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. We'll <laughs> you again, yep. Be careful out here. You and I always solve all the world problems. Well, we got to we got to figure out a problem to solve here, and we'll do that. <laughs> There's plenty of them. Pick Maybe one. When they get done with dredging up all the sand, then they can bring in a a big backhoe and dig it up and load it on a barge and, and haul it and away. Haul it away again. Yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. Yeah. That's probably that's probably what they'll do. Yeah, that's job security. <laughs> job yeah, security. absolutely. Yeah, that'd be a good job. <laughs> dig all this up, big front end loaders, and load it on barges. Ah, good idea. Good. Well, you should suggest they that. Drop it back where they're dredging it. There you go. Put it back where it came yeah. from. It's just an exercise. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, Roy. Great season, I'll man. see you in a little while. Good Our good friend Roy. We'll get back to chat with him a little later. I just want to walk down the beach. See if there's anything exciting out here. Didn't get a chance to talk to our ranger. I don't know if we had any more sea turtle crawls or not. I'm sure we have. The season's starting to pick up now. So I don't know if we got any new nests, but I'm guessing we've had a couple new nests since Saturday. Beautiful morning out here. I think I see the rangers digging up here ahead of me. 
Maybe we do have another sea turtle nest. I don't know if I'll be able to make it down that far. Boy, our beach is really changing here. All this sand they're dumping just offshore here. They're pumping it from up north at Wiggins Pass. It comes out down here. And they're just piling up all along the shore. Looks like the rangers down all the way down at the north end of area two. It's a nice little walk down there. Looks like they're out digging kind of in the middle of the beach up there. Not the best place for these sea turtles to lay their eggs. It's better when they make it up into the dunes. The higher up on the beach they can lay their eggs, the better chance for survival. We get some pretty high tides here. I mean, a lot of times the water comes all the way up to the dunes. And if those eggs get submerged underwater, if those nests go underwater, that's not a good thing. It actually drowns the little babies in those eggs. They need to have oxygen to breathe. So the higher up on the beach they can get, the better. They're definitely checking a nest out up there. Saturday was really a great beach walk. You gotta watch that video. Especially where I hung out while the rangers were checking the sea turtle nest. That was fun. We got to see one of the eggs when they verified that it was a successful crawl. All new piles of sand out here. See that sand out there? It's from that barge. See those bumps out there? So that's definitely gonna affect the shoreline, the shape of our beach here. You know, it's gonna change the way the water hits the shore for sure. Beautiful out there, isn't it? Little snowy egret down here is a little baby. That's a little one right here. Oh.
I haven't seen any other sea turtle tracks here. I'm not gonna go too much further down the beach, heck. We're up at the north end of Area 3 already. Oh yeah, well I know, for fact, we had a six, another successful crawlers, Nest 19 right here. So Saturday we had 17 and 18. Here's nest number 19 right here. Very cool. Nest 19. Wonder where 20 is. Last year we had, oh, 55, 57, I can't remember. We had a lot. Then dang, dang old Hurricane Irma came along and took them all out. Took most of them out. That was sad. Stupid Irma. Rangers are. I see their buggy up here. Oh, I see him over there. They're right underneath the edge of that tree looking see if they can verify whether or not the crawl was a success or not. Three rangers over there. Peaceful out here this morning. Not a lot of shells down this end of the park. Seems we've been finding the nicer shells up at the north end, up in Area 4. What's left of Area 5 Beach? I got crushed. Oop, there's nest number 20 right there. Sweet. Nest number 20. When we left Saturday, we had 18 nests. Now there's nest number 20. Very, very cool. Loggerhead sea turtles. Boy, lots of flies up here. It's gonna be a hot one today, 91 degrees. It's starting to warm up already. We got three rangers over there looking for the eggs. Three of them this morning. There's our tracks. There's our tracks. These are the ones coming back from maybe? Yes? No, false Ah, oh, bummer. How many now? 20. 20? Sweet. Uh, false crawl. Well, there's the tracks. These are the ones coming up from the beach here, from the water. False crawl. Darn it. False crawl. These are the return tracks. She went up there. Tried to lay eggs and came back down here. Oh. oh, 
Oh well, you can't win them all. But we're up to 20 nests now, that's great. This is where the potential nest site was up here. No eggs. Well, let's head back up the beach. Maybe do a little shelling. 20 nests, that's still good. Who knows, maybe we'll get another 50 or so nests on the beach. That'd be awesome. Let's just hope it's not an active hurricane season. I don't know if there were any more crawls. I'll know as soon as I see where this ranger goes, if he turns right, or if he goes straight. He's heading up the beach. Maybe there is a little more action up further. Gorgeous morning, look at that sky. Is that not incredible? Uh, he's turning off the beach, so no more crawls. Look at that beautiful, beautiful sky. In the shade of all the trees here right now, the sun hasn't quite gotten up over the trees. <clears throat> Pretty peaceful walk this morning. I'm checking the beach here as I'm walking along, but not really seeing much of anything as far as shells go. A lot of birds taking advantage of the low tide and these new little piles of sand. You can see some gulls out on that one there taking advantage. That's all new sand out there. Some seagulls sitting on that one. More coming in. And there's another one over here. It looks like a couple pelicans and some seagulls sitting on that one. I'll zoom in when I get a little closer. Oh, finally, a worm shell. <laughs> Boy, the last couple beach walks, we were finding these worm shells everywhere. 
some nice ones too. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to come into our worm shells. There's a couple more. The worm tips, wormy tips. It's been a few days now since I've seen our friends Scott and Linda. We saw them Saturday out here with their friends Mike and Tina. That was fun. We kind of walked the beach together, combing the beach together in a group. It didn't make any difference though. <laughs> I was hoping to find a shark's tooth or something with that big group of people, but we never found one. Here's one of those other little sandbars. Zoom in here if I can. See who's out there. A couple pelicans, Some more gulls. Two pelicans over there on the right, two brown pelicans. That's all new sand that's been piling up. They're dredging up by Wiggins Pass and pumping it down here and it's coming out comes out down that big long that tube and it gets pumped out here just offshore right now they're not pumping anything out so the beach is really changing every day now kind of cool well, Roy might have some company up there See somebody in the shadows up there with them. I'm glad to hear that he saw the dolphins yesterday. They saw a lot of dolphins up at Wiggins Pass. That's nice. That's great news. Oh, there's a big snook right here. See it right there? Swim. It was right along the shore. Usually they dart off when they spot somebody. I don't know if you got to see the shadow of it swimming away. A lot of snook here at the beach. They're smart. You're not supposed to be fishing down here in areas one, two, three, and four, so that's why they hang out down here. There's a nice kitten paw. Nice kitten's paw. Look at that. That's a great one. Seeing many people on here this morning. All the great people are on here with us right now. Hit that share button. Let's get some newbies to join in. It's fun seeing where people are watching from. It's amazing how we'll get people watching from all around the world. Roy gets a big thrill out of that. Boy, here's all, these, these are all coquina shells down here. All these little tiny, these are all little coquinas. Look at them all. Very, very tiny shells. The coquinas, they actually they harvest these to make coquina soup. Can you imagine opening that, getting the little coquina out? 
They're so small. These are very popular for making crafts too, these coquinas, because they come in all different colors. I don't know if you can see the colors or not. Yellows, pinks, greens, whites, all different shades. So they make, they make great shells for crafts, for making like pictures out of shells, because you have all the different tones. Look at them all. Just piles of these coquinas. See them? If you're looking for coquina shells, this morning is definitely the, a good morning to come out here before the tide comes in. Well, look, here's two burying themselves. Where'd they go? I can't find them. That one was just burying itself in the sand. Where'd it go? Right there. Huh. Normally the, co the coquinas bury themselves, so these are probably dead, all these ones washed up on the beach. Look at this little baby snowy egret right down here. A little snowy. Just right down by my feet almost. Lots of little fish out here for it. Yep, it's gonna move up the beach a little ways. There's a nice compressed look at the beach. Hmm, lots of fish. I see some more snook just offshore. Just a little too dark to see them with the camera. Now well, maybe we'll find some nice shells just a little further up here. Once we get up by where Roy is, now that they've moved that dredge down a little further south, the water's cleared up the north end, but now it's starting to get cloudy down at the south end of the beach. Down the south end of area four and three. One false crawl last night. We're up to 20 loggerhead nests here, loggerhead sea turtle nests, up to 20. So we had two more successful crawls since my last beach walk on Saturday. I haven't even seen any scallops. Usually we find some nice scallops out here. One piece of a scallop. Kind of chipped away there. You 
tide's definitely coming back in here. Not too long ago, this morning when I started, remember I was standing out on a big spit of sand out here. Now it's almost completely covered up. It doesn't take long for the tide to come in. Love it out here. Oh, anything buried in this line of shells? I would love to find a whelk shell instead of just pieces. There's a, that one's got some beautiful color. That's the top of a lightning whelk. Beautiful color there. I would have loved to find found that whole shell. So neat watching the little coquinas. They come up and bury themselves in the sand here. It's hard to catch one on camera. They're so darn tiny. I just saw a lot of them burying themselves. Yep. Just gonna pick up a little nutmeg shell and the wave came in and washed it away. <laughs> Another kitten's paw. Two kitten paw shells. comes the waves. The tide is on its way. Little worm tip. Looking up the north end of Area 4 Beach, towards Area 5, towards Wiggins Pass. Not too long ago this morning, I was standing on a big piece of dry land out here. It's almost gone. Almost gone already. Anything up here on the beach? Not seeing anything on the beach. There's a look south. I see somebody actually swimming out down there, way down there. If you're new to these beach walks, be sure to introduce yourself to the group 
Say hi to everyone in the comments there. Let them know where you're from. One big happy beach family here. Beautiful little shells. Yeah, let's see if there's any little treasures up here. Up at the north end of area four. There's a big treasure sitting over there in his beach chair. <laughs> Our buddy Roy. We'll go have a chat with him on the way back here. Boy, it sure is quiet out here. Get any hugs this morning? No, no hugs yet. It's quiet. Yeah, yep. And Just us and the bugs. <laughs> there you go. I'll be back. It is very quiet out here this morning. Where's all our beach friends at? I know Scott and Linda are busy getting their new house in order. That's so exciting. Getting a new place. Hmm. There's usually lots of shells right here in this area, but it's, there's nothing here. Just little, little, teeny, tiny bits and pieces. Usually find lots of shells right here. Kind of shallow here. Let me see if I can cut across to the sandbar. Ooh, tons of little fish down here. Tons of them swimming around. Little minnows. And there's a whelk, a live whelk down here. A nice one. There you get a look at the inside. There's a live whelk. See, he's going in his shell. They call that the trap door. He's going to close the trap door when he goes in. That's a live lightning whelk right there. So obviously we're not going to be taking him home. Beautiful shell. Ooh, he's going to come back out. Check it out. It's going to crawl around in my hand, maybe. There's a live lightning well. Here he comes. <laughs> There's his little antenna with, is that, I don't know, got a little antenna on him, I never knew that. There's a live lightning well. That feels really funny. You're gonna see that every day. Or get to even experience that. Isn't that cool? Beautiful shell. Beautiful animal. Just crawling around in my hand. Just another morning in Naples. How cool is that? 
I'm so glad I walked out here. <laughs> that is really neat. So you saw him just turn all the way around there on my hands. Very, very cool. What a beautiful shell. A lightning whelk. He's showing off for the camera, I think. Turning us, giving us a good look. At, look at that. Yeah, come on, turn all the way around. Let's see the other side of your shell. Wow, what a treat. Usually they just go inside their shell. This one's kind of crawling all around in my hands. <laughs> That is so neat. You can see actually its tail sticking out at the end there. See it? That little black thing. I don't know if that's its tail or its head. I don't know which way they go. <laughs> Looks like this is the front of it. I don't know. How cool is that? A live lightning whelk. I'm gonna come around to the other side here, get the light on the other side. He felt me moving and he's tucking into his shell. That is such a beautiful shell. Just a little sample of the marine life here at Del Norwegans. Now, of course, anything that's alive, we do not remove it from the beach. I'm going to put this guy back in the water here. Let him crawl on to go about his business. It's business. I don't know. How you tell if it's a male, a female, if there are sexes. I don't know. But there's a live lightning whelk. What a treat for our viewers. All right, bud. Time to put you back down in the water. There he, there's his underside real quick. This trap door they call that. That's actually a hard piece of shell that protects the animal when it goes inside. The trap door. All right, he'll be happy to get back in the water. That giant picking him up. That was so cool. Huh. What are the odds of finding that? You know, I just decided to walk out here in the water and boom. There he was, crawling along the sandbar. Just offshore of our friend from our friend Roy. I wonder if there's anything else out here. It's a great sign. I'm happy to know that, I'm happy to see there's things alive out here after all this dredging. I'll repost this video a little later on YouTube in a little higher quality, so you'll get a better look at that whelk. Be sure to check back for the link to that video on YouTube. Well, that was really cool. That made my morning. Doesn't take much to make me happy. <laughs> a good meal, some nice shells. A little bit of money in my pocket always helps. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up this sandbar again, a little further out. Let's see if I find anything. And I'll head back onto the beach. Seen any of our sea stars yet? 
I'm sure they all got displaced with the dredging. That's too bad. I love walking just offshore here on the sandbar. You get such a great view of the beach. The water's just below my knees here. Got lots of oyster shells out here. There's a big, that's a big old oyster shell there. Look at that one. It's almost purple. That's an old oyster shell there. Wow. Getting a little deeper here. Well, that was fun seeing that live lightning whelk, wasn't it? What would you call that? A snail inside there? It looked like a snail. The whelk, the live whelk. Yeah, it's starting to get deeper here. So I'm going to turn around with a little pass back up towards Roy. Another little pass on the sandbar. I'm just soaking in that beautiful view. I'm going to take a picture. Don't go anywhere. Isn't that not beautiful? What beautiful weather. Picture perfect morning here. Is looking south down towards Naples. The city of Naples. We're in Naples, but the city is down south. No more little critters. I was hoping to see some more little critters crawling around out here. Isn't that pretty? The reflections down there. The ripples in the sand. It's a pretty good drop off right here. You kind of see it right there. It goes from about a foot of water right here to about three foot over here. Where I'm walking is all relatively new beach here, new sand. Isn't that gorgeous? Those reflections. Definitely worth a picture, don't you think? Definitely worth a picture. Is that a little shell or a sand dollar down there? That little scallop. Thought it might have been a little sand dollar, just a little scallop shell. Still beautiful. I have to take a photo. Hang tight. 
just can't resist taking pictures when I'm walking out here. I'm sorry. I know it disrupts the, the feed, but that's the way it is. You'll get to see the pictures later. You're definitely going to want to watch the replay. We got to see that really neat live whelk live lightning whelk a little bit earlier out here on the sandbar i don't know where he, he or she it crawled off to after i put it back in the water they actually crawl along the bottom pretty fast very shallow right here this is the top of the sandbar Well, that whelk ski-daddled. <laughs> it didn't want anybody else picking it up and looking at it. fish swimming around out here. Roy up there reading his book. We'll be back to chat with Roy in a little bit. I'm just going to walk a little further up the beach. See if we find anything. I got a really sore ankle this morning. That water really felt good on it. Need to walk on it, but it hurts like the dickens. That water took some of the weight off it. It felt great. Very therapeutic. I love the beach. I love the beach and I love my friends at the beach. All of you folks online watching. We're like one big happy beach family. There's something for you newcomers. I always pick a piece of this up at least once during a beach walk and show it to everybody. Piece of worm rock. That's pretty cool. Little worm tubes. That's a little piece. Worm rock. Very common. Have been an awesome morning to get some aerial shots of the beach. Nobody out here. Me, a couple snowy egrets, Roy, another little snowy egret right there. Waiting for some unsuspecting fish to swim by. Show us your this one's got kind of an orange face. More orangey than yellow. See that? Where are you going? You could have walked by me. I wouldn't have messed with you. See his little yellow feet? Or 
Where are you going? Gonna catch something? I think that's our friend that hangs out here. That same little snowy that I've got some pictures of. Cool, huh? The little snowy egret, and there's that look down the beach. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that sky this morning. Look how blue it is, wow. There's the sun peeking it through the trees there. There's what's left of our Area 5 beach. You can see it took a pounding. Look how beautiful the water is up here though. Look how clear it is. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. No signs of that dirty old Lake Okeechobee water. Lake O, Lake Okeechobee. That dirty old water they released. It's sad how they get away with that. Another little snowy egret. Walk in the water, bud. I'm not gonna mess with you. Their little yellow feet are so cool. If I can get you a shot of them real quick. These little yellow feet down there. <laughs> Oh. Off he goes, heading up the beach. Well, we didn't find a whole lot in the way of shells this morning. Huh. That's unusual. It happens every once in a while. I'm sure I missed something. I mean, there's lots of beautiful shells out here. You just gotta really take your time and look hard, look close. First thing this morning when I come out, I did find a really cool crown conch, very old crown conch, probably got dredged up. Surprised didn't get just destroyed. But nice old crown conch. That is very, very old. So we can get some light on it. That is a very old crown conch right there. Get some light on it. I'll show you up here. We'll pass these trees. Good morning. Good morning. Get 
all of our beach that got washed away. There's that crown conch I was showing you. It's a nice looking little shell, really, really old. Lord knows how old it is. When they turn gray like that, I think that means they're starting to fossilize. Pretty cool though. Well, the highlight of this morning's walk so far has been that lightning whelk that we saw crawling around out on the sandbar this morning. That was pretty neat. It's a small one, but it was a live one. He came right out and crawled around on my hand. That was pretty neat. You'll definitely want to check that out. Lots of shells up under the trees here. Good morning. Boy, the water is gorgeous out there. I mean, beautiful. Look how clear it is. This is Area 5 Beach. I'm going to turn around. Head, well, let's see. Maybe I'll go a little further. Just a little bit further. Want to save some batteries to chat with Roy. Maybe pass the phone over to him for a couple minutes. Let you guys talk to him. Well, school's out, so now we're starting to see more kids out here in the mornings. That's nice. More families enjoying our beach. The little snowy egrets up here. Give them their space when I walk around them. Don't want to scare them. This is the north, the very north end of the park here. The north end of Del Norwegans. North Naples, Florida, if you're just joining us.
Well, there you have it. The end of the beach. Or the beginning of the beach. Depends where you want to start from. <laughs> Beautiful colors, absolutely gorgeous colors out here. This is Wiggins Pass up here. They're pretty far out in the channel now. You can see the dredging barge out here. Gonna go up to the end here, take a quick photo, and head back down to Roy. Roy said the dolphins were really active up here yesterday. Sorry, we missed that. Good morning. fishermen over there on the right. I just want to snap off a couple quick pictures, so don't go anywhere. The signal drops out here. We lose the, the feed when I take the photos, but I'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Oh. There's a piece of a big moon shell down here. I haven't found a nice big moon shell in a while. There's just a piece of one. Also called a shark eye, the moon shell. Almost a whole shell there, but not quite. Beautiful shells when you find them. never know what you're going to find on the beach. It's always changing out here. Bear with me here. Look at those greens. Beautiful colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Bear with me while I take a couple pictures. I'll be right back. Just waiting for that boat to clear and the water to calm down there. Look at that deep deep greens out in the middle of the channel. I've really dredged it out. That means it's deeper. The deeper the colors, the deeper the greens, the deeper the water. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, you can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach if you look close. Look at that. You can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach this morning. Coral. Wow. Beautiful view. I'm gonna take a picture, bear with me. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Well, let's head back down south. Let's walk south down the beach, back towards area four where we began on the boardwalk. Give you a look at these beautiful sea oats up there. All is starting to bloom. They're all in bloom up here. See them all up here? The sea oats. Gorgeous. Couldn't resist taking a quick picture. You 
These were all destroyed by Hurricane Irma. Now they're finally making a comeback. Finally. So beautiful. There's a little path here behind them. I just want to take a little picture here. Bear with me. Apologize, I apologize, I apologize. I just can't resist taking photos out here in the morning. See how they look like oats? When you look at the at the blooms, see, they look just like oats. Isn't that neat? I see we're getting a weak connection. All right, our connection's fading in and out up here. I'm gonna start heading back. One more photo vantage spot up here. I wanna take a photo from. Give you a look at the beach here again in area five. On a beautiful Tuesday. Look at the colors, that is just incredible. Beautiful color. All the blues and the greens, gotta love it. Get, as I get south, move south, the signal will get better. Just gotta have patience. There's nothing I can do to control the connection. Take a quick photo and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Be patient. Okay, I'm back. I promised. Gosh, I so want to find a moon shell out here this morning. That's the closest I came this morning to finding a moon shell, this chipped one here. Such neat shells. this piece of an old lightning whelk that would have been a huge whelk wow
Just want to take one quick photo from the end of the boardwalk up here. This is what they call Area 5. This boardwalk up here just goes all the way to the north end of the park, the north end of parking lot 5, and you'll find this boardwalk that takes you out to the beach. Takes you through the trees there. Beautiful right now with these sea oats popping up on the side of it. This is really, everything's starting to make a comeback. This used to all be sea oats over here. Now they're finally starting to make a comeback. Bear with me, I'm gonna take a couple photos. I see we got a bad connection, hang tight. Okay, I think we got our signal back, that's nice. That beautiful, what a beautiful view. Absolutely gorgeous. One more quick photo. Okay, now, now what I'm gonna do, after I give you a quick look, one more look around, it's just so gorgeous. Soaking in all this beauty, these beautiful colors. I'm gonna take you back through the trees here on this little boardwalk real quick. Signal's terrible here. Good morning. Good morning. Terrible internet connection. Look as I turn around here. Isn't that something? Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely incredible. I'll share a picture of that view a little later this morning. But I'll take you back on the boardwalk here, back around to the beach through the back way. Quite a lot of times you'll come through here in the early morning, you hear the frogs and the birds. Lots of wildlife back in here. If I was to make a left, that takes you to over to the observation tower, but you really can't see much from the observation tower. The trees are higher than the observation tower. Then this big pavilion you see here, you can rent this out. A lot of people get married on the beach, have a little reception here right at this big pavilion. So you just contact the ranger station if you want to rent that out for a party. Got a nice grill over here. Our ranger's hard at work. And we just come around. And we're gonna go back out to the beach over here. Lots of great opportunities for picnicking here at the park. So we just took the back way around. I'm always showing you the beach, but it's nice to see the backside of the park once in a while. Picnic tables right out here. You can see the water, the barbecue grills.
This is where all the beach got washed away. You can see this big drop off. Beautiful morning, beautiful Tuesday. Then be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember, nobody pays me out here doing this. I love doing it. If you enjoy it and you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. Look at that beautiful, beautiful water. That's where we just came from. We were just up around the corner there, just around the corner of those trees at Wiggins Pass. Beautiful, huh? Back down to Roy. I hope I did not use up all my batteries this morning. See those really high white clouds down there? Wow. It's supposed to rain later today. Typical Florida weather pattern. Rain late in the afternoon. High of 91. Poof, today. It's going to be a hot one. That rain really cranks up the humidity. It's beautiful. Look at that blue sky. Our washed out beach and the beautiful blue sky. Water's almost like glass out there today. Look at that. Really calm. We'll go check in with Roy. He's just up the beach, just ahead of me up here.
There's an old lightning whelk over here. Piece of a lightning whelk. Right down here. Beautiful shells, the lightning whelks. Get some sun on it. Just a piece of one here. Nice little shell for the shell tree. I'm going to put that in my pocket. Next time I'm out here, if I remember to bring it, I'll hang that on one of the shell trees. It doesn't have to be a shell tree. What the heck? We can, we can start our own shell tree. Got plenty of trees over here. Actually, there's one right over here. People are starting to hang their shells on. Very cool. So I'll find a nice branch to put this on. Let's see here. Something where it'll be around for a while. Let's see. How about this branch right back up in here? Hang this whelk right up in there. There you go. That's for all you folks watching that can't be out here. That shell's for you. There you go. That's a lightning whelk. It's just north of where Roy sits. I'll get down, get over to Roy here. It's right up here. We saw Roy earlier this morning. Got to say hi. Good morning, how you doing? What's up, Daddy-O? Hey, Rob, how are you doing? Oh, here I am. Made it back. Finally made it back. Good. Oh, you setting the world on fire down here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Having a wonderful time. How's the hug situation Yeah, I out? got a couple of hugs. I leaped up out of my chair. And <laughs> they ambushed good, them. Good hugs, and so uh, everything's going really great. Good. No signs of Kelly, huh? No, no, she said she'd be here. Oh, well. Is this her coming up here now? No. No. Oh, guess not. Well, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll be along, and Jenny will be here later on. I'll well, get my go. good swims in. Get your plunges? Yeah, yeah. Halfway to Mexico there. Pol polar plunges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. No How's your book? What book are you reading? Yeah, it's really, really good. This He's a, a chemist and a scientist and oh. developed a lot of things. Right now he's what working the on developing the, uh, cracking it? the atom and developing the atomic bomb. What was the title of it? What was the It's a man of the hour, James B. Conant. It's by, written by his grand, grandson or ah. granddaughter. Yeah. And Nobody a, knows too much about him, but he was a scientist, a very excellent really? chemist, and uh, developed all kinds of things working for the government. And, now they're sending them over to, to Russia to, or Germany or someplace to, to be... Uh, How long ago was that? Oh, I didn't know. He's, he started off way back and he was in World War I developing oh, wow. things and now he's developing the atomic bomb and atomic huh. cracking the atom. All kind of, oh my, all the problems he had, unbelievable. You know, you don't realize it until you read they had three or four different systems and uh, to see which one worked the best really? of uh, cracking the atom and all the politics involved and oh, I can imagine. scientists and everybody wanted to use their own system and oh my goodness. Mm. But he seemed to be able to cut through all of the all of the politics and problems and get things accomplished. So you got any uh, wisdom for me? You got wisdom. some advice for me? 
Well, I had a thought for the day, but that was so many days ago, I don't know <laughs> if I can remember it. <laughs> I think it was uh, being interested in everything. Being interested? Showing yeah. interest. Yeah, in that was it, interested. Interesting. I know I've noticed myself, I say to myself, when something comes up that's, uh, that's got some big problems and is, uh, um, I'd say, gee, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So I think being interested in things is, is really, uh, it's very, um, well, it's very enjoyable. Yeah, it's helping. <laughs> yeah, it's very enjoyable and it makes life, life worthwhile. Because no matter, everything is, is interesting if you, yep. if you ponder it. Pondering. <laughs> <laughs> Pondering life. <laughs> Well, yeah. if you think about it, so oh, absolutely. to be interested in everything makes life very exciting. There you go. You're interested in the astronomy and all the, the beautiful things up in the sky, the rainbows and the, right. and the stars and the moon, and you're interested in the sea and the water and the clouds and, and the, the beach and just everything in life. Well, that's some good advice. And you're interested in your friends, too. I mean, it's Absolutely. really interesting chatting with friends. Everybody's got a different different angle on life, and, and you can learn things from your friends. And it's also nice to show interest in somebody. Well, well yeah. That's a kind yeah, thing when yeah, you do Yeah, exactly. That. I, I wanted to make a point of that. I'm glad you brought that up. When you, when you talk to friends, when they like you chat with them and you ask them, uh, you know, they, maybe about day? their work, yeah. uh, you know, and they, and they talk about their children. And they say, oh, oh, what, what is your son doing? And, you know, everybody likes to talk mm -hmm. about themselves. Absolutely. You get people going, and, and they, if they feel you're interested in them and their success and the success of their grandchildren and children, why, well, they really um, open up to you. Yep. So just showing an interest uh, promotes a close friendship and people yeah. opening up to you to learn something new and interesting from them. Well, that's how you start a friendship. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and a lot of times their sons or daughters are doing really interesting things. Oh, absolutely. And, and they tell you about that, and it, it kind of expands your whole whole universe when you're interested yeah, in other people. Yeah, especially down here. There's yeah. so many grandmas and grandpas yeah, down here. because the other people and, have got yeah. sons, daughters, grandchildren. I mean, their grandchildren are, are doing interesting things in the world. And yeah. So... Being interested is my word of the day. Be interested. Show some interest. interest. Show some interest in another person. Yeah. Make their day. And they open up to yeah. you when you're yeah, interested. You'd be surprised. It might make your day as I well. I do the same thing when people ask me how I'm doing and what oh, am yeah. I reading. And, you know, I... You just go off. <laughs> yeah, I, I tell yeah. them all about it. And I'm pleased that somebody's interested in what I'm up to. Absolutely. <laughs> it definitely makes your day when somebody shows interest yeah, in like you. Yeah, like with you, you see them interested for some reason <laughs> i don't know what <laughs> you think i'm interested or curious <laughs> uh, no everybody's interested in what you have to say well not really but oh they, yes I, really I mean, but oh yes i don't think i say anything more uh, unique than uh, all everybody else can can think of too <laughs> i don't know if it's unique it's refreshing people find it refreshing well, I'm happy about that. They can I, watch the news and hear all the negative stuff here. We try to yeah, stay yeah, away from that. Yeah, news is mostly something, uh, if it isn't some big calamity, it isn't newsworthy. Exactly. But uh, I like to forget all that and think of positive, wonderful, glorious things. <laughs> Maybe that's not news, but it's sure great. <laughs> you got that right. It's a, it's a wonderful, and you feel, you feel exuberant and happy, too, when you have a positive attitude. Yep. Yes, you do. Yeah. It definitely changes your attitude. Your absolutely makes you this this coming here to the beach in the morning, seeing you, seeing some of these other people, just being out here. Yeah, and it changes, inhaling the serotonin. Changes, don't forget changes that changes my mood and the serotonin, <laughs> the flies. You know, and the water's warm enough now oh you can Lord. take big channel swims. The water's oh, so the warm. other day we were out there, way way out past the sandbar, and along comes this dolphin, and oh, he really? swam right toward us. Oh, boy. What a thrill. Here we're swimming out. The dolphin's coming toward us. He got real pretty close. Maybe. You sure it wasn't a shark? Oh, and I sang to him. <laughs> I you sang, sang to yeah, him? Yeah, that brought him in. What did you sing? Uh... You are my, no, it was about five, five foot two. <laughs> Has anybody seen my dolphin is what I, <laughs> I changed the words a little bit. Oh, that's funny. 
<laughs> well, maybe that worked. Yeah, Next I think you're it out did. there, sing it again. <laughs> well, then I hit an off key and then he turned around oh. and went out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, we got a few people hanging on here. A lot of people go to work in the, the morning. The nice thing was the dolphin sang with me, too. The dolphin sang with oh, you? Oh, yeah, he was grunting and squeaking. In and dolphin and... or English? <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you hearing out there? Dolphin squeaking? Or English. Hey, I gotta tell you a good, good thing, interesting thing about What's that. that? I, I got this, the movie Sound of Music uh -huh. from the library. Right. Well, there were two discs, and the second disc was all about how they made the movie. Oh, wow. Oh, was it interesting. I bet. It was really something. And what, what reminded me to tell you, they showed this movie is shown throughout the world in different countries, and they had her singing, you know, in the, the sound of life, but it wasn't, she was singing right. in, in, in some sort of German or Polish. Yeah, or, or that's something. Yeah, you know, she's, here she's doing the same thing, but it's coming out all right. foreign language. <laughs> it was really good. Oh yeah, that's something. <laughs> yeah, translators singing it in the foreign language. That was quite a, muse, um, a movie. Oh, it was just Boy. fantastic. It's probably interesting to watch that video. Oh yeah, when they made it. Uh, about how they made it. Oh, and the interesting thing is, she was telling about. Remember the, the original part of that where she's way up on that on that high green yep. swire and she's yep. singing, "The hills are alive." With a, well, there was a chopper that was had the big cameraman oh, taking her picture, yeah. and the chopper would swoop around, and the downdraft was so hard every time it would come down, it'd flop her right down on her face. <laughs> right, no kidding, it would yeah. knock her down. Yeah. Here it's so glorious, she's waltzing around up there in the movie, you don't realize that, that she got knocked down every time they, they took that picture. Well, you can see it blowing in the movie. You yeah. can see it blowing around. Yeah, well, movie. you think it's the wind up right. on the hill. But you don't, but, people don't realize it. And then she <laughs> was so ticked at the chopper because they were flattening her out. She said her face was going in the... Uh, in the, uh, in the every time she got a mouthful of... Grass. And so oh, that's so she she was waving at the chopper to get, They thought she was waving, and they gave her the thumbs up. How great everything! <laughs> oh, it was an interesting movie. Oh yeah, boy! People forget how loud those and powerful those are. If anybody gets a chance, have them get that that get an extra disc and, and look yeah. at that disc. How they made the movie, boy! Well, I want to give this phone to you real quick. There's some people watching here. I'm sure they want to say good morning to you. Well, that's and send always you some nice hearts. Good morning. So I'm gonna flip the round. Hand you this. Make sure they can see you there. Make sure you can see. The I don't screen. know why they want to see me. Well, they think you're cute. Hey, here's somebody. Hi, Rob and Roy. Beautiful morning. Yeah, that's for sure. Hi, Michelle. Steve, he was an engineer. Well, that's great. Hi, George. Being an engineer is a high calling. I'm an engineer too. I'm. A, I'm registered in Wisconsin. I can't do any engineering here in Florida. <laughs> Hey, Michelle, good morning, Roy. M M good morning, Michelle. Becky says good morning. Hi, Becky, good morning to you. Hey, Tammy, love to see you, Roy. Well, aren't you sweet? I love seeing you, dear. Kelly says, hi, Roy, can't wait to meet you someday. Well, that, look forward to it. Hi, Jennifer says good morning. Hi, Jenny. Connie, hi, Roy and Rob. Marilyn says, hi, Roy, God is great, that's for sure, oh boy. Cindy, hi Roy from New Jersey. See you in October. Hey, look forward to seeing you. Sue Jennings says, good morning Roy, have a glorious day. Thank you dear, same to you. And Mandel says, good morning from Indiana. Well, good morning to you. Stephanie, hi Roy, love, Whoop. good morning, blessings. Juanita Young, hi East Coast Canada. And, uh, hi Rob, Roy, my buggy bird screaming so loud. <laughs> Sunshiny, <laughs> Connie says, morning from Kentucky. Hi, golly, here, Michelle, I'd like to be there a few weeks to get my hug. Oh, yeah, I'm sure looking forward to that. Come on down. Ivan says hi. <laughs> oh, isn't that something? Yeah, really? that really is. All those people, yeah, all those people, people saying good morning. People. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Got so many friends out here. Well, I'm glad you made it today. I really missed you yeah, the last yeah, couple of days. I I got... The beach isn't the same without you uh, <laughs> <laughs> lurking about. There you go, spying <laughs> on everybody. <laughs> yep, you got that right. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Lord. Well, I got to get rolling along. What time is it, boss? Well, it's uh, 9.08. Oh, my gosh. Late, late, late. 
Hey, my book is, I got to pick it up this morning. I think the typing is all finished, and I'm going to send it for publication. Thinks, you think Sandy's go. got it done, huh? Yeah, just about. Awesome. So that's, that's great a, news. That's a thrill. That is great news. We'll send that out and maybe get it online, however you do yeah. that. That's awesome, Roy. All right, well, I got to get moving. It's been a lot of fun. You have a great morning. You too. Great seeing yep. you, man. Tally ho, daddy ho. Oh, <laughs> Day. You too, Roy. Enjoy your day. swim. <laughs> yeah, Kelly gets down here. <laughs> well, you said Jennifer will be out, so. Our good friend, Roy. Well, thanks for joining me on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning in paradise in North Naples, Florida. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to go through my photos and videos here on Facebook and, and find something you like. Hit the like button, hit the share button. Our little community's getting bigger and bigger every day, slow but steady. Hope you enjoyed our beach walk this morning. Didn't find a lot of shells this morning. Nonetheless, it was a beautiful morning. Thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.